Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Anya Weissman, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I got Sculptra done yesterday. So after posting that, I got a lot of requests to demonstrate what that post Sculptra massage is meant to look like, and how often for how long should you really do the post Sculptra massage. So I thought I would show you that today. And in addition, I'm also going to show you other facial massage techniques uh, and discuss the benefits of facial massage. If you find my videos helpful or interesting, please feel free to share them with your friends. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you choose to, you can click the notification bell so you will always be uh, notified when I post a new video. So what are the benefits of facial massage? Most of us know that there's such a thing as lymphatic drainage. We do that to deep up our eyes. And that is one of the benefits of massage. We do have lymph drainage really everywhere throughout our entire body. And if we manually help the lymph flow, we help deep up our skin. But there are other benefits to facial massage. Number one, when the face is upright for most of the day and is used to being pulled down by gravity, creating motions that counteract that gravity can neutralize that pull a little bit. Also, our muscles in our face carry tension, just like some of us carry tension in our shoulders. For example, people who grind at night tend to have very big hypertrophic masseter muscles and they do carry a lot of tension in those muscles. So massage can help relax the facial muscles just the same way as body massage can help you relax your muscles. Another benefit is that as we age, certain facial muscles hypertrophy or get bigger and stronger while others atrophy and become weaker. So for example, if you think of someone who's quite a bit older, they often have the corners of their mouth pulling down because the DAO, this muscle that lives right here, gets stronger with age. Also, as the mandible, the bone resorbs with age, this muscle becomes stronger and tends to pull the corners of the muscle of the uh, the corners of the mouth down. So massage just helps neutralize and bring the muscles to balance. Again, draining the lymph can really help with washing away toxins, impurities, and just any puffiness uh, to sort of subside and drain down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how the lymph drains, what's the pattern so you know, and then we're not gonna quite follow that because obviously the lymph is actually going down from our head into our heart and into our armpits because we have a lot of lymph nodes in the armpits. So it's like this and it's like this. But if we massage down, we're just helping gravity, which isn't what we want. So we tend to keep that in mind, but try to massage up and focus on pushing things away, up and away this way, and then the drain, the drainage can happen this way. So I got a little pencil to show you. We have lymph nodes centered here in the middle, and we also have them going out this way. And this is why when you're doing the massage around your eye, you can go in this direction, but you can also go in this direction because from here, they tend to go down this way. I don't know, can you see my bad arrow? Yeah. And from here, they go down from in front of the ear, they go down. Behind the ear, they also go down. And here, they go down. They all go kind of this way, like my fingers, down this way, from behind the ear, down this way. And then they drain down and into the chest. The lymph from the arm goes this way as well. And then some of it is gonna go here, and some of it, if it's deeper, is gonna go into the heart. So that is the overall pattern. And if you know that, you pretty much know everything you need to know in order to do a facial massage. So when doing a facial massage, the most important thing to remember when you're choosing your glide is that it won't dry up. So you don't wanna use a lotion because then you're gonna start pulling and 
that's not what you want. You want a smooth slip. If you're on a budget, you could reach to your kitchen and grab an olive oil or coconut oil and use that as long as you wash it off when you're done. Wash your face well. Um, you could also use any kind of oil balm that you may have in your skincare routine. You may use an oil-based cleanser that you use as your first cleanse. Anything that will help the fingers just glide really lightly over the skin. What I will be using today is the cleansing oil from Epicutus, which was gifted to me by the brand. Another good option, if you happen to have the Elastin Soothe and Recovery, uh, the Soothe and Protect Recovery Balm, if you purchase this when you were having ablated procedures done, this is kind of like Vaseline, which would also work, or regular Vaseline. So it's really up to you in terms of the product you choose as long as it glides on easily. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is just get this on. And once it's on, we can focus on the massage. So for Sculptra, let's start with that specifically. Um, the official recommendation is that you do a facial massage for five minutes, five times a day, for five days. That is not realistic for most people. Um, the reason why you need to do the massage for Sculptra is to avoid Sculptra accumulating and aggregating in any one particular area of the face because that predisposes you to a nodule. So if when we talk and we move our face and we animate, let's say the Sculptra aggregates in one particular area, in order to prevent that nodule, we want to massage it back out, redistribute it to avoid the nodule. So that's the reason why you do the massage. If you do it at least two times a day for two minutes for, I'm going to say four days, that's probably sufficient. It depends. It depends on the concentration that the sculpture was diluted in. It depends on where your injector injected it. So the official recommendation is five minutes, five times a day for five days. If you do less, it should still be fine. If you do two minutes twice a day for four to five days, that should be fine. But the more you do, the better. And also it's good for your skin as well. So I had sculpture done in here and I had my piriform fossa done and that's it. When you're doing the sculpture massage, it's it's a little bit painful because you're sore from the injection. And the most important thing you wanna do is just pretend that sculpture is right underneath your skin and you wanna just distribute it so it doesn't collect anywhere. So you can go front to back, up and down, circles, circles up, circles towards the front, circles towards the back. The pressure is moderate. You should not be crying in pain. Uh, it's not gonna feel good either though because you're tender from the injection. Here, you wanna bring it down if it migrated up and in. But if you get a little bit here, if you had injections in the face, then that's okay. You just, you just kind of, with quite a bit of pressure, you just massage it just to distribute it all around. There is no secret specific way to do it. But if you want to do a proper massage, there are so many different techniques. No one of them is right or wrong. Uh, I will say that you've got to remember that drainage. So we want to remove things out and down, but we don't want to tug down because that's like gravity. So it's better to move out and up, and then up will go down. Does that make sense? So instead of pulling everything down, you're pulling it away. And once it's away, it on its own will drain down. So for the eyes, you can do circles in for that little node right in here that will drain this way. Or if you prefer, you can drain out for that, those little nodes here that are gonna drain down. Some of them actually go in and down, some of them go straight down. It really doesn't matter too much. 
whatever feels good. I really like going over underneath my brows. I find that feels really good. There's a pressure point here so you can push and go in whichever direction you like. So in terms of techniques, you can do circles. So start here, move up and out, start low, move up and out. You can slide across your jawbone. You can do little scissor motions. That's great on the forehead because the forehead doesn't have too much soft tissue. So this is like a really nice way to, or you can just do two fingers and just kind of do that. You can do little circles. And again, you're moving out from in to out. The temples always feel nice. Now you can also, if you get sculpture injected on the bone here, there are pressure points underneath the maxilla here, the bone. So you can push in, just push and put, and you can hold it a little bit longer. This is good if you've got a lot of spare time, maybe you're watching a video or a movie and you push, push. I told you there's one here as well. And then you can do the gliding motion, you feel the bone and glide along it. You're gonna glide out and up. So that's also good. You can go over the bone. I like to go really flat, not with my fingers this way, but flat. And again, out and up and push. That feels good. So you go up and out and hold. Up and out and just hold it. And listen to your body. If something feels good, do it. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. So you could do that. For the mouth, you can do cir half circles. You can do full circles. Try to, I, I'm, I tend to tense my mouth when I'm doing it, but try to completely relax it so it will look funny. And the chin also circles out. You can circle along the jawline. You can just sweep up. It's kind of hard with your hands, but it's easier to do it across the other side of the body. I'm gonna focus on here because that's where I have the sculpture and I'm just gonna do circles. And here as well. So if you wanted to start here, you could start and go up that bone I mentioned. Now, disclaimer, obviously, I am no professional masseuse. I am not an esthetician, and they are quite phenomenal at facial massage. And I'm sure you can find some really good videos on how they do facial massage, but I'm just going based off of my knowledge of anatomy, the lymph drainage, and what feels good. That's really all you need. It's not, it's not a sophisticated science to do a facial massage. You can pull the corners of the mouth up. If you want to deal with this muscle that pulls down, it's right here. This is how it goes. So you can just relax it. We also have a muscle that goes straight back, helps us smile and pull our mouth corners back. And we have three muscles that pull our smile up this way. They insert here and they attach here. So you can go up and you'll feel those muscles as you do this. There's also a few that go down here. So again, you can just go up and out and it's actually quite relaxing 
If you can give yourself the time to do this, you'll notice your whole body relax after you're done. So I'm going to continue doing this for a moment longer, particularly here, but I think that you probably get the picture. So that's the face. Now, if we want to massage on the neck, we can do that too. The lymph drainage goes down, as I mentioned before, and it goes out. And when it goes down here, it's actually deep inside the body. It's by your spine and into your heart. So you can't massage that, it's way too deep. But the superficial, you can. So your arms would go this way and your neck will go down. For the superficial lymphatic massage, you really don't need a lot of pressure. So you can just gently massage again out for the lymphatic drainage. It's always out along the, along the path. You could go down here. I don't like to go down on the face ever because the whole point is to reverse gravity. But then on the neck, you can, and there's a muscle here called the sternocleidomastoid. It's right, you can see it right here. And it attaches way up here behind the ear. That one tends to cause a lot of tension. So you can actually just give yourself a little bit of a massage, however is more convenient for you, whether you wanna cross your hands or do it this way, or go back and down, because the ear also drains from here down. And that can feel nice also. If you go down along this muscle, it can be quite relaxing. And down and out. That's why I wore this top so I could show you guys. If you wanted to do your arms, it'd be the same thing. You would be bringing everything up. It actually goes up to and into your armpit. Or you can go this way and towards your armpit. Obviously do your face before you start sticking your hands in your armpit, but I just want to show you the direction in case you're interested. And there you go. That's the, that's the whole massage. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them for me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.